Well, folks, this is a treat. I'm at the historic Knickerbocker Mansion, and they're getting ready to have a benefit dinner for a very important cause. Let's go in and look around. Well, here we are at the front door. Usually keep it locked. Let me uh, ring it. There. Hey, Stanley! Oh, Rob! Round town with Rob! Hey, my friend, Fancy how are you? Fancy you come to visit us. Oh, how are thanks. You? It's been a while since I've been here. Well, we're happy that you came to see us at it the Knickerbocker. Is. That's at the Knickerbocker. Thank you. You know, it's a it's a famous old house in Big Bear. I know it. Bill Knickerbocker. Bill Knickerbocker. One, it's, you know, it's, it's actually one of the few houses still standing from the 1920s. Really? Many of these places like this burned to the ground. Uh huh. And one after the other. So, uh, Bill Knickerbocker came here in the early 1900s. Uh huh. Uh, late 1800s. He was one of the first dam keepers of the Big Bear Lake Dam. And he built this house around close, really around 1920. We don't know exactly when. Mm -hmm. We know he built the carriage house around 1917, and and at the time he built it, he used to live in the little stone dam keeper's house down by the dam. How about that? And he also was one of it was the site of the formation of the Big Bear Masonic Lodge. They first met in the second floor of the carriage house. They used to go up in the hayloft uh -huh. and pull the door up, the ladder <laughs> up, and close and have their meetings. Yeah, up. now the carriage house is to the rear of this it's building. The, it's the other building up right, above, which right. now has six guest rooms in it. Wow, terrific. And uh, we're, we're excited to be here and to actually have saved the house probably yes. from the bulldozer. Oh, I know it. Because this is marvelous. It's These wonderful. walls could talk. If they could talk. Oh, wow. You know, it's the largest vertical log house in the United States. That's right. Usually they're horizontal. That's exactly right. And this is vertical. And it's about 4,500 square feet in the main house. Wow. Um, and as I said, it was built in 1920. Mr. Knickerbocker um, chopped every tree down, uh -huh. built the house himself, built virtually built it almost by himself. Now mm. how he did that I don't know because he didn't have many power to didn't have power tools in those That's days. right. He had a lot of big saws. <laughs> and we have a few things around here to show you right. today. Um, you know, we we've, we've tried to restore the house and keep the original ambiance sure. although it is a bed and breakfast. We have uh, 11 guest rooms in the two building, five in this building in the mansion mm -hmm. and six in the carriage house. All of them have full baths with tubs and showers, which obviously they didn't originally. That's right. There's, as you walked up, you saw a new front porch that was built when we came here in about 1990, 1991. Uh -huh. um, that was the, originally the back of the house. The door you came through was actually a window. And this little room that we're in here, uh -huh. which we call... Uh, you know, it's like the entrance or the, the, the front desk area, right. was in later years Bill's private bedroom. After six children, Mrs. Knickerbocker threw him out of the bedroom, <laughs> and this was his room down here. I guess they didn't know what caused the problem. Well, I guess so. <laughs> and uh, there's a big archway here that was cut in, and there used to be a door over here that's now long gone. Um, so this was his bedroom in later years, and the door you came in was actually a window. Wow. In the mid-80s, it was converted to a B&B, &B, uh -huh. and um, it uh, um, has been a B&B &B since that, although it was closed for three years when we bought it, and it was first brought to First Mountain Bank, and it was a bank foreclosure. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't, there's none of the furniture. Well, there's actually one piece of furniture that's still here that we believe Mr.